Residents in shanty towns have eight days to leave. However, as they grapple with various concerns, the Alternative Housing Committee within the Shanty Town Task Force has been working closely with them. Now, we're told that most of those individuals residing, or rather reside, in the Carmichael District with 10 shanty towns in that area. Mr. Colin Wright, who heads the Sub Housing Committee, shares the concerns of those residents. The only challenge that we have had if persons don't want to move most of the shanty towns into the Michael area, the western area. And most of the, the Haitians in the shanty town don't want to move to the Michael area. And that has been the only really challenge. But there's no challenge as it relates to finding houses. But you'd have to move to the area. But um, so far, a lot of employers of these Haitians living in, in the, the shanty town, as you know, everybody, especially that higher Haitians, call them Mahitian. So, They've been, um, the employees been coming to stuff and trying to assist, and, and, that is, and that is a plea I would like for other employees who employ some of these Haitians in Shani Town because when they call, when um, these Haitians call these numbers, which the Haitian um, Association give to them, they're not able to negotiate properly. Well, the Shantytown Task Force is also focusing heavily on communities in Abaco. Already a survey has been completed in the Mud and Pigeon Pea districts over a six-week period. Head of the Task Force, Senator the Honorable Dion Folk says additional work is underway and an assessment will be made to shed light on the issues specific to those areas. It's a very comprehensive survey. We are now at the Sand Bank in Treasure Key. Um, I think we're going to complete that this week. It's a much smaller area and also about 100 residents in the old Treasure Key Farm Road. So hopefully within a week we'll be finished. The, all of the survey forms are coming to Nassau to the Department of Statistics, which will be formulated, which will give us a good reading on what we're dealing with, particularly in Marshava and, and Pigeon Peak. 